Hello everybody and this is Chaos with KLC Sports Productions bringing you a opening PVZ style. Um, this is kind of in response to a cast that I did of a game from Eric Taylor uh, who's a Silver League player and I just kind of wanted to give him uh, an idea of kind of some of the benefits of some of the suggestions that I had uh, in that video. So uh, PVZ, um, generally speaking, uh, you want to go for a relatively early expand. Um, basically what this does is this allows uh, I can't put up my hotkeys today. Um, this allows you to get up an economy that is at least up to par with what the Zerg player has. Because um, a lot of times the Zerg is going to be going for a fairly early third um, and you need you, obviously you need to either be in a position where you can just totally wipe them out um, with a relatively early push, or uh, you know harass him so he stop, you know so he will stop making drones. Um, so PVC, uh, I tend to like to go with a twelve gateway. So at the twelve mark, I pull my probe, I get him around, get him out. Or I guess it's more like thirteen. Uh, do a little dance, get my gateway down, um, and then. You kind of manage your probe, make sure you're doing everything, continue on building probes, um, and things are continuing to go. Now, on 14 or 15, um, that's when I usually build my assimilator, because um, obviously the earlier we can get gas, the uh, easier it is going to be to get our um, gateway research going, um, and then also get our first stalker out. Um, so we got to get that down relatively early. Um, and then at 16, I usually build my pylon, and I'll build it out here. That way I can have more surface area of places where I can put stuff. Um, once it's done, immediately get people into gas. Um, I need to not queue up so many probes, and then I need to get my cybernetics core down. Now, what this allows you to do is this, by getting your cybernetics core before a second gateway, it allows you... Um, you know, it gives you several options. Obviously, at this point, you can choose to take another gas, or you can choose to play on one gas um, and go for kind of a gateway push. Now, um, I personally um, like to take my second gas uh, because we're going because um, it it gives you more options in the later. You know, in the, once you figure out what you're going to go tech wise. Um, so Cybernetics Core is going to finish up. I'm going to go ahead and get my gateway research, and then I'm going to... Now, eh, yeah, I'll go ahead and get... Play more of a... Not necessarily a one-base style, but a, uh, you know, a safe style. So, um, let's pretend that I ended up scouting him. He's up here, um, and everything's hinky-dory. Uh, Zealot's doing his thing, continue getting probes. Um, now, at this point, we need to build our next pylon, and then... Basically, we're kind of on hold. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and send my probe down. Um, mm, actually, no. Let's let's go ahead and get our third gateway, just to be super safe uh, in case he's building up a building up a giant army and going to come kill us. Um, so we're going to send this probe down here, um, and then once we get up our minerals, we're going to go ahead and plant down our expansion. We're going to continue to chrono boost out our. Um, uh, gateway research, and then 400 minerals is going to come here in a second. We're going to get this down and go for there. Now, um, the reason why I chose to do kind of show you this build is because this is kind of what you did uh, with the whole gateway in the uh, in the uh, in the main. Um, once you get down 17 or 18 probes, I would highly recommend getting a mothership core on. Um, they're just in order for uh, a Zerg player to be able to attack the sky uh, early game, uh, they can either use Queens or they can tech up and go Hydras. Um, now, Hydras don't really come until, you know, the earliest that they, they could possibly come is probably eight or nine minutes. So basically, the Mothership Core kind of rules the sky until then. Um, so it kind of allows you to, you know, it, it ensures some type of defense. Um, now I probably I probably ended up building this a little bit late because you you want this uh, mothership core usually to pop out the same time that you plant down your nexus. Uh, basically, what that allows is 
by the time your nexus finishes, you have enough energy to do one of your photon overcharges. So, you know, obviously that gives you um, some decent, um, you know, decent options as far as, you know, defending and not having to worry about it. Um, so, yeah, so let's go ahead and I can't really pause it. Or I guess I kind of can. Yeah. So at this point, we're kind of floating 500 minerals. Um, I haven't teched, which is probably um, probably not the best thing. But at this point, we got to make the decision to tech. Um, you know, our expansion's done. We're getting our probes. Uh, we've got, you know, a relatively decent army to defend off of somebody who's playing a little bit more macro styled. Because um, they're gonna be they're gonna be getting drones. They're gonna be doing that kind of stuff. Um, and as long as you're scouting. Uh, you'll know whether or not this is safe. Um, if, obviously, you go over there and you see a million lings, you want to make a whole bunch of zealots and maybe a couple centuries to, you know, kind of defend yourself from whatever kind of pressure you could see. Um, so, obviously, you need to be scouting and be aware of what you're doing. Um, also, going in and playing a game like this to just get a build down is also something that's really, really good. Because um, basically what it does is, you know, it gets your it gets your mechanics down uh, that much better, uh, and kind of, you know, gives you the it gives you the practice that you need. Uh, playing ladder games, I know, for me, when I was you know kind of bronze silver league, um, I had a hard time, uh, you know, just playing the game because you know I just wasn't comfortable with a build. I just you know, th th those type of things, you know, there are all these kind of things in your mind of, oh, I don't want to die, I don't want to, like, lose my rank or whatever, and, you know, it's perfectly normal. Um, so, um, I think, let's see, we're 7, 8.30, we'll get our Stargate up, we'll get an Oracle out, or a uh, Void Ray, and call it a, call it a day. So um, I hope this kind of gives you kind of just some type of perspective on, you know, how to take your natural um, and gives you some options as far as, you know, what to see, uh, you know, how to practice your build. Uh, you know, like I said, doing these type of games where you're just kind of in your own game and, you know, playing, you know, you can practice, see kind of what your benchmarks are. Um, you know, I've got 74 food at nine minutes. It's mm, probably not the best, but, you know, I've got a full expansion up. I've, you know, I can tech up to uh, Tempest or Carriers if I feel like it. Um, I could also get get down to Robo, start thinking about switching over to Colossus. Uh, you know, all these all these things are, are options. You know, just experiment with what you've got um, and kind of see how, see how it goes. Uh, you'll find that your ladder games go a heck of a lot smoother uh, when you've practiced a build and, you know, in general, uh, you know, just know what you're doing. Um, it'll also help increase your APM because I know a lot of, like, <laughs> when I when I first started playing, uh, my APM was, like, I don't know, 12. Um, and now I think it's somewhere in, like, the 200s range uh, on a good day. <laughs> so, you know, it's just, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, getting familiar with what you're doing, getting familiar with your race, understanding you know, the mechanics of how, how to, you know, build up your army, get everything ready, and go from there. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you got any comments or questions about uh, the build or any suggestions, uh, feel free to let me know uh, in the comments. Um, also in, this, in the description, I've got my email address that you can submit uh, videos to, uh, and I can do some casts of your replays or and help you out um also my twitch channel is going to also be down in the description below if you want to check me out while i'm streaming go ahead and follow me on twitch and we will get you into maybe a game or two uh while i'm streaming so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys later